Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Travis Patel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the power of automating when you set up your business tasks and duties that are required for everyday growth, everyday maintenance. When you set these up into systems and easy to follow processes, I'm gonna show you how powerful that can be. You know, I've talked about this a lot before, taking those duties and really breaking them down into an easy to follow step-by-step -step blueprint so that you can hand them off to employees and outsource you know worldwide and all that type of stuff so that you don't have to focus on those you know grinding tasks that, that uh, take up your time and don't really help you do the things that are important for your business and important for your life so what we want to do today is we want to really take that to the next level, take that to the next step where we're not just handing it off to another employee, but we're making sure the system and the process set up is as efficient as possible so that there's as little error as possible out there. There's a little, as little hiccup as possible there so that you don't have to worry about the system and play. Now I'm going to take a very simple, very, um, you know, a very common task for the e-commerce game and I'm going to show you the automation steps I've set up and the tools I'm using to really make this work and this is a lot about what me and Gonzalo are going to be talking about on Thursday in our webinar about how to process out your system like this and take you out of it as much as possible but still make it uh, allow your business to grow allow you to really focus on the things that you love so let's talk about the basic system the basic process of going from conception of a product t-shirt design to having it uploaded on your store now before i've explained this and this is how we ran it you know a few months ago we've really been able to improve on this stuff um, over the past months but what it was was just an Asana task. We had a few Asana tasks coming up where we had first off the team meeting here. This came up with our de design concepts and this is where the project manager took it to the calendar and they uploaded all the details of what they were gonna launch those designs and what the social media is gonna do and what email is gonna do. And from here he was able to contact the designer and let them know about the t-shirt designs needed. And from here the designer did the first uh, first round the first draft of that design we had a quality check process where the project manager would say yes or no or whatever mm -hmm. tweaks this would move on to the product upload process and this is when it's actually going on to the store the shopify store and this is assigned to a certain employee they have all the details of the product there and from here we're able to market we're able to launch as ads and all that type of stuff so as you can see that process right there that basic process that's required with every shopify store out there with every e commerce store out there um, you know it's five or six um, broken down Asana task here now that's a lot when you ever end up having 50 100 or 500 products going in a week you know, it can be very jumbled and this is, has a lot of human element a lot of clicking the check boxes uh, of next to things so I wanted to try and take out that human element as much as possible I've worked with a lot of guys who helped me make this happen um, just finding all those tools that work so that's what I'm going to show you right now this same process in an extremely automated fashion so the tools I'm using for this are Asana, I'm using Zapier, which is an awesome automation tool. I think you should all be using it just even for your everyday email and just management life. It's pretty cool stuff. We're using Shopify, of course. Um, we're going to be using Dropbox, which we have our folder system set up appropriately. And we're using Slack for our communication. This is our team communication. And all these tools are going to work together, as you'll see here, to automate the process. And this is why Zapier is so awesome, because it can really connect with a lot of stuff out there. So first off, we have, let's go back to the process again. First off, we had the team meeting, come up with the concept design. What needs to happen now is we need to submit that concept design to the product designer. Now, this is a very basic system. We have in the Dropbox our you know, product systems. We have first off product graphics. Um, inside the product graphics, we have a default folder, which is going to be what we're going to duplicate. It has a default design details uh, file inside that will be edited gives the exact details of that design and we can move forward. Now just to make sure everything's clear, we have a readme first with instructions. This is basic instructions for the project manager who is uploading these, project, these uh, design ideas, these design concepts to be sent to the designer. You know, it says duplicate default folder, rename that default folder the product name, 
open that folder, edit the design details to give the description design, and then we're gonna move that product folder to the ready for designer folder as you see here. So let's go ahead and do that process. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate. Now we're gonna go ahead and call this uh, kingpinning test. Now inside you can see we have design details. Let's go ahead and say kingpinning black text, you know, whatever, who cares. All right, so we're going to take that, that ready concept idea that needs to be sent to our designer and we're gonna add it to the ready for designer folder. Now we have a zap that's set up right here that when that happens, this is going to one, add a task to Asana, and two, send a message to our designer in Slack. Now Zapier runs every five minutes, so right there I just added it, it's not gonna happen right away, but in you know every couple minutes it will. Now I can go ahead and click run next to that. It's gonna say, boom, found one new directory. It's doing all its little stuff. Boom, all right, cool. There's my message, and there's my task. Graphic design need for kingpinning. Click the following link for details. That goes to our Dropbox folder. We also have the Slack message, and this is a template message I set up in Zap, uh, Zapier. Graphics needed. There's a new folder named kingpinning test within product graphics that requires your input. Click here to go directly to the folder. This is the Dropbox folder that we've seen. Now this is it, which will have the design details inside. Now the designer can just click that, as we'll see right here. Here's kingpinning test, design details, there's our design. All right, so now when this is completed, the designer will have his first draft or whatnot of the, the graphic. And we need to have a quality check so that our product manager can say yes or no to this process. Now, what's going to happen is, let's go ahead and grab a design. We'll grab just this freaking awesome cow mom one. Uh, copy. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add this graphic. So the designer's done with his rough draft. He's going to add it into the quality check folder. And now automatically we have a zap set up to hit up our, our project manager to say, hey, is this good enough? So once again, every five minutes it runs. This is our zap for that. We're going to, it just saw that. We got our new message. And all these are being sent to me. They would usually be sent to the project manager designer. You'd have the right names in there, but I'm showing you. This is the bot setting. So this first one was sent to the product de uh, designer. Uh, the graphic designer and this one the quality check this is sent to the project manager and even gives them a little preview it's there with the link of the rough draft now if the designer or if the project manager approve this he's going to go ahead and add it into the ready for upload folder okay now this is going to trigger the product upload process Let's go ahead and do this one. Oh. There we go. It already was happening. It didn't I clicked it a little too late apparently. So when you add it into the pro ready for upload, we have the other systems folder, the product upload, and it added a whole new folder here. This is an automatic folder. As I added that freaking awesome cow mom, this was created with the graphic and the product details. Now this is a default file that the project manager will come in and will enter the details of whatever he wants for that product uh, to be listed as. So the Shopify listing, you know, freaking awesome cow mom, the description, grab yours now, whatever and all the details that are needed for the Shopify upload. Now, a lot of these, as the more and more you upload, the virtual assistant or your employee, the whoever you're outsourcing this to, is gonna know what you're gonna want most of the time. So you can have just the tags need to be done, the pricing, the shipping weight, whatever, whatever those specifics are, that's what you really wanna fill in there. Now, when the project manager is done entering that, we can have this folder entered into our employees, and we have three different employees that are responsible for uploading these projects. So when I want Mark to upload the cow mom full, uh, product to the store, this will automatically send Mark a message on Slack 
letting him know, hey, it's, this is ready for you to upload. Boom, Cow Mom is ready for Shopify upload. So as you can see, those messages, that automation right there, this is all things that your employees don't have to go do. My project managers have to go message the, the designer and say, hey, I have this folder ready for you, or hey, here's the design uh, details for you. The designer doesn't have to message the project manager and say, hey, I need a quality check. What do you think about this? It all is happening automatically. That takes out that little bit of human element that really speeds up and allows people to focus and really bust out tons and tons of this stuff. And this is how we're doing all of our systems across the board. And you can see just how powerful that can be. So this is why you should really look at the systems you have going, the processes you have rolling, and break them down step by step so that you can set up and look at these little automation pieces. Like I said, Zapier is great for this. Asana is great for this. Dropbox, all this works really well. There's lots of tools out there to make this work. So, hope you guys got a lot from this. I'm having a webinar again on Thursday at noon Pacific time with Gonzalo, which is gonna really show you how we kind of look at our systems like this, break it down. Gonzalo is one I hired early in my processes system to show me the how we get started in that kind of direction. And that's exactly what he's gonna help you guys with. Take it to that level, take your business with those systems and those processes. So once again, guys, my name is Travis Patel. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I will talk to you soon.